Hey love, so it's time for another wig tutorial and this one is by YWigs.com. Straight out the box, this is how you get this little cute white quaint box and it does come with some elastic so that way if you want your wig extra tight, you can definitely use that. It does come in the standard plastic bag and this here is actually the Brazilian straight and as you guys see, it is a nice amount of elastic. So as I was saying, this is the Brazilian straight. It is 22 inches, 150% density. There are two combs in the front, whereas by the nape, the nape or the temple, excuse me. And you do get a nice amount of parting. Just from eyeing it, I would say probably like four inches of parting. Plus in the nape area, you do get an adjustable strap and a comb as well as you guys see right here and some lace that you would need to remove now the middle is stretch panel so that is a good thing and like i said it's brazilian straight it is a lace front 22 inches hunties and wait a minute check out the hairline so in the deets they did not say the hairline was pre-plucked but we're about to work this honey so straight out the box i do like to just use my t-pins to put on my mannequin head sometimes i wash them sometimes i won't but being that i'm not going to wash this i'm going to show you how i prepare it to wear it straight out the box so you want to make sure that you have some good sturdy t-pins and a good old plastic mannequin head i got these t-pins from walmart not the mannequin head the mannequin head came pre-used from my local beauty supply store and you also want to make sure you have a wig cap on that mannequin head so that your wig does not slip around so moving forward I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to make myself a side part I love a good rat tail comb because these give like the best precise parting like you don't really have to keep going back and forth back and forth back and forth but as you guys can see it does have a nice hairline I'm really impressed with that and the baby hairs are really nice and fleeky as well so it's time to get ready as you guys see there are no knots that are too bad they, the knots look natural they're not you know overcrowded oversized swollen or anything like that they look average they look decent but for a girl like me I need a little bit more parting space so it's time to get my tweezers ready and I'm just going to make myself a little partage a little extra partage on the side and I'm going to use a good pair of tweezers you want to make sure you have a good pair of tweezers for this but you also want to make sure that you're taking your time and not going overboard you don't want to pre tweeze it too fast you don't want to be too forceful because you don't want to puncture the lace and trust and believe a girl has done that quite a few times so being that I'm done tweezing, I'm going to take my brush here and I'm going to just brush out that excess hair in this wig unit and I'm going to prepare her for her straight part. Now being that I just used the wig straight out the box, normally I wash them and put the part in, but being that I didn't, I'm going to be using this lot of body styling mousse in it um, or this wrap mousse in it just to lay and train the hairs. This is really good and it makes things a lot easier versus sitting the wig on your head for hours and pressing it down the scarf. You can always use the styling wrap mousse and this will actually hold the hair. You just want to brush the hair in the direction that you want it to go in and within a couple hours it's dry and you're ready to go. So as you guys see I'm just going to be brushing it upwards because I do want to train the hair somewhat to go back a little bit. I really don't want it to rest flat onto my forehead because you know I just really don't. But for the most part I love the hairline. It's really nice. It's decent looking. And as you guys see I just take the mousse and I just kind of like spread it in and just press it up against the the hairline a little bit right here you know a little bit goes a long way I mean it is for your wrap but you can do a lot of things with this mousse then I'm just going to brush the hair upwards so that way I can take my clip and this is going to hold the hair in place so that way when I'm ready to get it going we're going to get it going and pop it so yes you guys this is just an easy alternative way to if you really need to put the wig on in a rush then you do so there you guys see here I am and I'm ready to go as you guys see I'm ready to cut the lace off of this unit it is a very pretty hair Brazilian hair got me some cones and an adjustable strap I didn't use the actual um, elastic because for one I just really didn't feel like it now you see my part right there but I'm going to go ahead and prepare it a little bit more try to get it as close as possible to my scalp color so I'm going to use my pressed powder and the sponge applicator and I'm just going to rub a nice amount generously into the lace and this clap it on my head now first of all ladies like I said they didn't say anything about pre-plucked hairline but hunties yes Do you guys see that hairline like ooh, honeys 
this is like really really like a nice hairline especially for the price of the unit it's very affordable I don't really do a lot of straight hair but I'm thinking I'm feeling myself and for 150% density it's a nice full believable hair style you know what I'm saying like it looks average it's not too over um dense it's not too over tweezed it just looks very very natural now on to the styling part now as you guys remember I did just take this straight out the box and I don't really want to cut these baby hairs because I just don't want to gel them down I don't want to glue them down I don't want to paste them onto my forehead today plus I got my own baby hairs that are glued down or gel down so I don't really need all that extra so now it's time to style this puppy right on up. So like I was saying, I do want to keep the baby hairs a little bit long because you know, it's gonna be a little bit wispy. Kinda like really, really cute, you know. Like that, like that. I am feeling the hair. Like normally I don't do straight, 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 but I figured, hey, why not? So it, it is a little bit folded on the top. So I'm gonna take my barrel curler and I'm just going to kind of like flatten it down in the areas instead of flattening with a flat iron or you know, flat straightener, whatever you want to call it. I'm just gonna take my barrel curler and kind of like run it through the top really quick. And I do apologize that I'm chewing gum. My mouth has been really dry because you know I've been taking like a medication, so my mouth it leaves my mouth really dry so I wanted to test this hair out really quick and see how fast and how easy it curls so yeah a little bit of dance movement you know so it does really curl nice um the barrel is probably like an inch one inch barrel I love this barrel you guys see me use this in all of my videos you can get it from irresistible me I absolutely love it so as I was saying, it does curl really, really nice. And I apologize, guys, but I'm really sick. I have a bad cold, so you know, excuse me if I do sound a little bit raspy. Now, as for the baby hairs, the wispy baby hairs, you did see me kind of like curl it. And I want to give this kind of like an updo bouffant type of like thing in the front. You know, like how kind of like Snooki used to wear her hair back in the days. I love to wear my hair like this because I think it just looks so cute. Girl, I used to wear my hair like this back in the day, like my own natural hair. So I'm going to take my brush and tweeze it because it is silky straight hair, okay? And I want it to kind of like sit up high as possible. So I did tweeze it. And now one of my favorite hairsprays, which you guys see right here, and I'm going to have to kind of like fix that up a little bit because it is not laying as high as I want it to. But there we go. Now the bouffant is up. And I love this. I don't know why I really like my hair like this, but I used to wear my own hair like this like forever. Ever, and I really really love this hair and I like to wear it like that so I thought it was cute and as you guys see that part is like definitely on fleek okay but yeah for the most part why why wigs has some really nice hair the hair is so super soft and it's straight and it's just very long and I think like the actual density of it is so believable so definitely make sure you check them out and also use my code April to save some money at time of checkout I'm pretty sure you guys love saving money so I'll post the code below which is just April you can save some money off of your purchase I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this video stay deep and delicious and I'll see you guys in a soon to come video bye